Welcome back, fuckers. Who's Broads and Hero Clix is back today? We're gonna do the final scenario in the Avengers vs. Masters of Evil scenarios. Today, we're at Scenario G, the New Age of Ultron. The Masters of Evil have bought enough time for Ultron to activate his Doomsday device. Yet again, the Avengers find themselves a step behind. But they have a chance. Can the Avengers stop Ultron and his scheme? Or will this usher in a new age of Ultron? We will see. Alright, so I have to start the Avengers on this side. Since I won Scenario C, I can add uh, Black Widow to my force. And I also get to eliminate one of the special markers that Ultron attacks her. We're going to eliminate this one. Uh, winner is determined when one side is completely eliminated. Um, considering the Avengers have 150 points, we will be playing this as a 200 point game, so three, or two actions, three if you have leadership. Nice and simple, pretty easy. Let's get this going. Iron Man is going to pick up Hulk. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna drop Hulk right here. It would help if I had action tokens ready. <laughs> I didn't grab any of this stuff. But I have it all like literally right next to me. Okay. Nick Fury is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and end right here. Captain America. Is gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and right here. That's three actions. And that's the competition. Ultron, two Ultron drones, Modok, Taskmaster, and Wrecker. Uh, the Ultron drones work a little funny. Um, as long as an Ultron drone is on the map, Ultron and the drones are immobile. If Ultron would take damage, you KO a drone instead. Okay. So, Modok is going to pick up Taskmaster and sidestep. One, two. He's going to go one, two, three, four. Dropping Taskmaster right here. And Wrecker is going to go one, two, three, four, five, picking up the object. And back here, six. And that's going to be two actions because the only people that can move have. So on the turn. Back with the Avengers. And we'll roll leadership with Captain America. Succeeds. Uh, doesn't really work for a bystander. So, oh well. Now Black Widow is going to come 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up to here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we could do that. We're gonna carry sidestep the Hulk. One, two, dropping the Hulk right here. And we're gonna make an attack. Targeting this Ultron drone. So it's going to be range combat expert 12 on an 18 going into hindering. So six are better for four. is a six. So, Ultron Drone will KO. And we're going to deal Ultron one click of damage. Clear and clear. So we just cleared Captain America and Nick Fury. The turn is over. We're going to charge with Wrecker. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, right to here. It's going to be a 12 on Hulk stuff. 12 plus 7 is a 19. That is a hit. Hulk will take one. Yeah. One. Only fucking one? Really? Fuck. For some reason I thought he had toughness. I don't know why. Alright. So, object goes bye bye. Modok is gonna pick up Taskmaster and go one, two, three, four, five. Dropping Taskmaster right here. And Modok is gonna sidestep. One, two. be the turn. Alright, so leadership, Captain America. Succeeds. I'm 
mean, Iron Man can technically attack, or Ultron can de technically attack from wherever he's at, but you can't see anybody to attack. And and it's D10, right? It had to be in. Yeah, so. They can't even really see anything right now. So the turrets are kind of useless. As long as I go straight up the middle, the turrets can't even see us. Alright. So Cap's going to go 1, 2, picking up the object. 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven, eight. Right up to here. So that's one action. Hulk is going to smash. Targeting Taskmaster. 11 on a 17. And that's it. Taskmaster will make him roll it again. And that is a hit. So Taskmaster will go bye bye. That's two actions. We're going to move Black Widow, one, two, three, four, five, six. Get her right into the thick of things. Most importantly, she is going to block off Iron Man. And we're going to clear Iron Man. And end the turn right there. So, how do I want to do this? They're mobile, but... Just can't be moved or placed. Nothing that says they can't make an attack. So that's what we're going to do. Let us make an attack targeting Black Widow. Shape change, Widow. Oh, we can make the attack. 11 on a 17. And it's a crit miss, but we will use probability control. And that hits. Widow gets super senses. Nope. Oh. So she'll take three damage. One, two, three. All right. We can't do anything with him. We can't do anything with either of them. Uh, we're going to sidestep. One, two, and clear. All right, so leadership is irrelevant right now. What we're going to do is... Move Nick Fury one square. Right to here. 
Iron Man is going to sidestep. One, two. He's going to use range combat expert targeting the Ultron drone. So it's going to be a 12 on an 18, six or better. And that hits. Ultron will use probability control. Sixes. Misses. Nick Fury will use probability control. Did I use Nick Fury probability control already? I don't think I did. But if I did, tell me. Hits. So, Ultron drawing goes bye-bye. Takes one unavoidable. So that's two actions. And now... Hulk will smash the wrecker. 11 on stuff. And stuff wins. Bye bye, wrecker. That's three actions. Clear. And clear. So this is where things get interesting. How do I want to go about this? Well, we'll sidestep Modoc. One, two, and Modoc's going to use ranged combat expert on Black Widow, bringing it up to a 10 attack for two damage. So we're gonna need, I think a six, not a seven. Seven or better. Still spinning, still spinning, still spinning, still spinning. Told you it was still spinning. That's a hit. Super senses avoids. All right. Um, I'm going to roll a D six for Ultron. Alright, so I can move him five squares phasing teleport. Uh, I'm trying to think. Alright, so we're gonna move him to here at no cost, picking up this ob or no cap is holding this object. <laughs> and we're gonna punch him. Ten out of eighteen. Hits. Um uh, Yeah, Nick Fury can see him, so we're gonna make him roll it again. Still hits. Alright, so take three. One, two, three. Alright, so. That's both actions. And now we're back over to the Avengers. Quite sure how I wanted to go about this. (sighs) 
would love to get somewhere where I can use my ranged combat expert on Ultron, but that's not looking likely. Uh, so we should be all right. Cap's got that object, so we're gonna use close combat expert. Smack him with the object. It's gonna be 11 for four, so 11 out of 18 for four damage. Seven or better. Miss, but we'll use Krob with Fury. Miss. Object goes bye bye. Uh, kill Modok. One and one. So it's going to be a 12 on a 17, I believe, or an 18 in hindering. No, it's 12 and a 19. Seven or better. Misses. Uh, one, two, picking up the object. Three, four. Actually, three, four, five. And try to keep her grounded there a little bit at least. Clear Hulk. Clear Nick Fury. I guess I could try to break away sidestep. We get to kill on the widow, but it's not really what I want to do. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, I guess. All right, break away sidestep, Modok. Succeeds. We're going to go one, two. This bitch isn't hindering now. Uh, anyway, I fucking look at it. You know what? The ranged combat expert on Iron Man is more... It's a deadlier, I guess, of the choices. So, 10 out of 18. Get an 8 for 2. The only shitty thing is I am in range of Fury, so I'll have to do it twice. That's a cocked die, and I'm... Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it was, and then it dropped. KO. Dice rolls are wacky today. I mean, well, he's phasing teleport, so he breaks away for free, but I got to roll to move, so. Six, I can move six squares. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to move right to here for free right behind Nick Fury and we'll clear him One, two, three, four, five. Moving Captain America to here. Uh, 
We're gonna move Hulk one, two, three, four, right to here. And Nick Fury is gonna attempt to break away to move. Fails, he will profit himself. Succeeds. And Ultron will prob it. And it succeeds. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to clear Nick Fury, clear the Widow, end the turn. All right, so what do I want to do? I know what to do. Since we phased until the port, we're gonna roll a d6 for the Ultron. He gets to move one square. So we'll move him right here. Ultron's gonna target Captain America. Ten on stuff. I think it's a 17 close combat expert, so 7 or better. Missed, but he'll use probability control. I rolled a lot of dice in this game. That's a 7. No one can see it, so Cap's going to take 3. 1, 2. Game over for Cap. And that will be it. All right. So Black Widow is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right to here. This game might actually be over, depending on what happens next. Because they can't tie up Ultron no matter what we do. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right to here. Clear. <laughs> if it isn't obvious, I broke my tripod the other day. So I'm kind of just... Trying to fix it. There we go. Where did my Iron Man go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> really? Did I just do that twice?
seriously, not even joking. That's the leg to my other tripod. So right now my tripod is a bipod. And I sent Ultron flying somewhere, so excuse me for a moment while I go get him. finish this game. Alright, there we go. And that'll work just as good as any angle. We can't forget there's a Nick Fury over that way somewhere. And we'll move him actually. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we can't. It's Ultron's turn. Face teleport. Three squares. So one, two, three. I wonder who I'm going to attack. It kind of rhymes with fire, land. Fire fan, yeah. Fire fan. <laughs> seven or better, or yeah, seven or better. We'll prob that. Huh, the first set of matching dice I've rolled all game. And it hits. Two, three. That's three. That's only one I got, so we're gonna end it right there. We're gonna move one, two, three, four, five. Like so, right to here. And we're going to have fun trying to hit him. Alright, range combat expert. So it'll be 10 on an 18 for 3. We're going to get two shots at it, apparently. And that'll hit. But he's a prick, so he's like rolled again. Still a hit. Impervious says no, it's not. All right, precision strike. Get that one. Same with you. Precision strike, we need a nine. Miss the problem with Nick Fury. Miss. Totally cheated. Can't make that attack with Black Widow. I don't have leadership anymore. So we just clear and clear. All right, roll D6, move. I can move four squares. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're gonna move 
phase teleport one two three four right to here and clear actually right to here because widow can't get lucky and ping me from there Hulk is pretty much useless. He's never going to get into this. Because that Hulk is stupid. He has no moving attack, no nothing. Um, Iron Man is tapped out. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Move Hulk there. There's nothing else I can do. Drop and moving Black Widow <clears throat> right to here. Sidestep Iron Man. Clear Iron Man and Fury because that's literally all that can be done. Alright. So. Let's do this. We're going to phase teleport. We get four squares. So we're going to go one phasing, two phasing to here. And that's for free. And now. Let's kill Iron Man. Six or better. Hits. We're going to prob it with Fury. Hits. KO Iron Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does anyone here sense a pattern? Uh, let's break away to move with Nick Fury. Succeeds. Move him right to here. Widow's going to use Precision Strike. Miss Fury will prob it. Miss. Considering I have absolutely no fucking reason in the world at all to worry about the Hulk at this very moment. Let's just shoot Black Widow. Ten on a seventeen. Miss, but he will use prob. Miss. Wow. All right, roll a D6 for free. And I can phase one square. Oh yeah, that's literally all the dice that I'm using right now. All right. 
right, so Hulk's useless ass is just going to go one, two, three, four. Like, he's literally useless at this point in the game right now. Alright, so Ultron's gonna roll a break away. That's for free. So he gets three squares. One, two, three. Actually, one, two, three. And he'll clear. Black Widow's going to move. Nick Fury's going to attempt to break away the move. And he's stuck there. Clear Hulk. And... Ultron is going to punch him. Seven or better, that he's probably going to have to roll three times. Miss, so he'll prob it. Another miss. All right. Let's give it one more shot. Precision strike. We're going to need a nine or better. Miss. Prob Fury. Miss. Break away Nick Fury. Seeds. All right, now the roll is important. He can only go one square. Gonna back up one and fuck it. We're gonna shoot the useless Hulk. We're gonna have to kill him eventually anyway. Eight or better. He'll prob it. And that hits. Fury can't see him, so he'll take three. One, two, KO. turn. Nick Fury clears. Black Widow clears. And free action. It's a five. I'll turn all the way the fuck away. And clear. Alright, so we're going to move Black Widow to here and the turn. Alright. 
move right to here and punch Black Widow in her pretty little face. That's a crit hit, so fuck your super senses. Take four. KO. And now Nick Fury runs for his life. to make room. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh shit, he walked right into my little fucking thing. I forgot that that was there. Well, it's nice knowing you, Nikki. 10 out of 17. I gotta see if it's a range attack or attack. Yeah, it's a regular attack, so seven or better. Miss. Ultron can prob it. Because it's a problem himself, because he's making the attack. That's a hit. Bye bye Nick Fury. Bye bye scenario mode. And at the end of the day, all hail Ultron. The definitive, by far, best piece in that set. So, I mean, the Avengers pretty much won everything, except for the very last thing. Oh well. Thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys who subscribed that did subscribe. Thank you guys for all the cool comments. Thank you guys for taking time to watch my videos. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this up right now. And yeah, pretty much just call it a day. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, yeah, subscribe to the YouTube. Any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, etc. You know where to leave them. And you can always follow, like I said, the Twitter for little sneak peeks of what's coming. I got a bunch of games in my head right now that I'm thinking of right now. So... Stay tuned to see what happens. Thank you guys, as always. Have a nice day.